Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing a fire smoky eye. I actually did this look a couple weeks ago on my Instagram and so many people loved the look. I really hope you enjoy this video and before I get started, I do want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Clinique. I'm going to be using the new Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. If you guys want to see how it works, does its thing, then just keep on watching. I hope you guys enjoy, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with the Clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly and this is how it looks so first of all I just have to say I love the packaging I've actually never tried anything like this this is oil free and it is a water jelly personally for me I love it I feel like anything with oils just does not mix well for me so I love that it's oil free I just have to say that right off the bat when you apply this it gives like the most refreshing cooling sensation and I like that it does not leave any residue it actually sits really nicely on the skin. It actually does protect from outer pollution. So it's really going to protect your skin. And I've been using this for about like two weeks I would say. I've tried a lot of moisturizers and things like that and I feel like a lot of times it could be very heavy. So with this product my face is still breathing. It's very hydrated and just overall like fresh. I highly recommend y'all check out your nearest Clinique counter. That way you guys could try out the dramatically different hydrating jelly. Give it a try you guys. Definitely something I recommend. Now that the face is nice and hydrated, I'm going to move on to the eyes. I will be doing one eye off camera. Sorry you guys if I'm just like, I literally, like this is my second time filming this video. The first time was an absolute disaster. I didn't like the way it came out. So right now I'm just like, okay, like let's bring up the energy a little bit. I, I'm, I want this to come out good this time around, but I'm sorry if I'm like, if I look a little dead and the reason why I'm doing the eyes first is because it's a lot going on I don't want all this fallout ruining my foundation So that's why we're doing that first. So basically I just finished this eye I know I look very crazy. It looks a lot better when everything is like put together I'm like really looking at this like so what I'm gonna do is take the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to use this as an eyeshadow base. I already had some prior, but I'm just applying a little bit more. And with this sponge, I'm just going to dab this all out. I feel like the more stickiness, the more better to the shadow really looking pigmented. All right, see, now it's nice and primed. So I will be using a few palettes for this eye look. The first one is the Patrick Star Heat Stroke. And I'm going to take this light brown right here. And what I'm going to do is just apply this all over the crease. This is just going to be our transition color. Also what I'm doing with a shadow is kind of creating a rounder eye. You can kind of change, not your eye shape, but kind of give it the appearance of it being more round. That's the kind of eye look I'm going for today. You guys, my hair looks so busted right now. Like I just got out the shower, I just put it up and I'm just like reevaluating why I did that. So next I'm going to take the dark brown and I'm actually going to apply this directly on the crease as well not like the transition this one I'm mostly gonna just really focus it on the crease that way it could deepen it up a little bit more so the next palette I'm taking is the Mac Patrick star Go getter palette and I'm going in with this dark cranberry and what I'm gonna do with the shade is also apply it on the crease just applying it back and forth in the inner and outer corner and again this is just going to intensify the eye look a little bit more it really just depends how deep you want this look I'm going for something very dramatic, so I'm just going in with, you know, deeper, darker shades to deepen it up. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the light brown, and I'm going to go right above just to, you know, make sure there's, no, like, no crazy harsh lines. All right, so for the next palette, I'm going to take the Tarte Man Eater palette. Y'all, I just need a palette where there's, like, all these colors in one. But I'm going to go in with Cat Call, and I'm also going to go in with Midnight, and it's just a black and a dark brown. I'm going to mix that together, and I'm applying this on the outer V of the eye, this is going to really intensify the eye. I feel like sometimes you just need that black eye shadow to do its thing. And this is just going to really, I mean, make it very dramatic. Don't worry if it looks patchy right now. I know there's a lot of layering going on, so that's going to happen. So what I'm going to use is the NARS liquid lipstick. Yes, I'm using a liquid lipstick for this. I'm using this in the color Star Woman. This is a really beautiful burgundy. It doesn't have to be an actual eyeshadow base. You can use eyeliner. I mean, you can just get creative. 
So I'm just gonna dab this all over the eyelid. So now I'm gonna take my flat brush and I'm just gonna go in and just dab this all out and make sure it is nicely diffused from the edges. You don't want it to be harsh. So I'm going in there and blending at the same time. Okay, so that's drying up really quickly. I'm gonna go in a little bit more. Dang, this thing is red. Like I said, you wanna make sure you go on the edges and try at least to make sure it's diffused a little bit. That way when you apply the color on top, it doesn't look like it has a harsh edge. I'm going to go in with this color right here. I would say this is kind of like a copper red. It's very beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is just apply some right in the center so it could have the most pigmentation right there. I feel like anytime you use your finger, it's just automatically gonna be a lot more metallic. And then I'm just gonna go in with a regular brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with the black and brown and I'm gonna pack this color in the outer V once again and make sure I just blend that into the red and there's like no harsh edges. I'm using a flat brush that way I'm able to really pack it on because I notice sometimes it could start separating so this is just going to make sure it's packed on evenly. Okay so now what I'm going to do is go back in with the black shadow and I'm taking a smaller brush for this and I'm just going to pack this right on the lash line. I'm pretty much just applying like eyeliner but with eyeshadow. This freaking fallout is giving me so much anxiety but I'd rather just clean it up all at once instead of cleaning it up getting messy again and doing it all over. Finally, my favorite part, cleaning up all the mess, honey, because this is just so much. Now that I have that taken care of, I'm gonna go in with my Perception Shayla ColourPop palette. You guys, I've been obsessed with this inner corner highlight, and this is like the only color that I really, really use a lot, and it's called Unbothered. I think it's the perfect inner corner highlight. It just is so blinding. I'm gonna pop this right in there. Oh my goodness. I literally, I've tried to use like different inner corner highlights, and it's just not the same. There's something about this one that makes it so different from the rest. Like, oh my god. I love her. So now that we have the top of the eyes done, I'm gonna go in with a CoverGirl Flourish By Lash Blast Mascara. And I'm just gonna go in there and coat the lashes. Now, don't mind the patchiness. I'm having a little bit of trouble right here, but I promise you I will try to fix that. But just know that I do notice what's going on. Now moving on to lashes. I'm gonna be taking the Batty B lashes. I think these are in the style Insta Hope. If not, I don't know what style these are because I just honestly think I put these in a random box. They're so freaking bomb. Oh my god, I just squirted this whole freaking lash glue on my hand. So now that the eyes are finally done, let's move on to foundation. I'm going in with a Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin in the color Y325. I've been loving this foundation. Basically, I just do like little streaks like this. I feel like this foundation is just a tad bit more tan than me, but I could definitely make it work with like concealer and all of that. I'm just going in and blending this out. It's so crazy how, depending on how you do your eyeshadow, it can kind of change your eye shape. Like I really was going for like a circle look. I don't know if you guys noticed. Maybe you guys don't actually. But sometimes if I want to do like a cat eye, I'll extend it. If I want to do like a round eye, I'll bring it more up. You know, little things like that. When I actually posted that like little mini video on Instagram and I got told I look like that Lola fish from uh, Shark Tale, I thought it was so funny because literally from like the eye shape to the lips, it's like literally me, you know? I feel like just overall though, like aside of like the makeup itself, I feel like literally she looks like me. Obviously this was a look that a lot of people requested because it was just so different, I guess. I haven't done a dramatic look in a while, but I definitely want to do a video of me turning myself into Lola from Shark Tale. That would be iconic. Thumbs up this video. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you would be interested in watching. I think it would be so funny. Now moving on to concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Fair Light Neutral and I'm just going to apply this underneath the eyes. I'm only going to apply a little bit. I don't want to go too ham with this because this is already like super full coverage. So I'm just going to kind of dab it in a little bit and I'm just going to go in and just blend this out. I feel like this concealer is a little bit pale but kind of evens out with the foundation since the foundation was just a tad bit more 
uh, tan. So what I'm gonna do with the rest of the concealer is just apply it on my T-zone. That way it's a lot more balanced, you know, evenly highlighted. And then to set my whole face, I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna go right in, girl. Just set that whole face. Okay, so going back to my eyes, I'm gonna take this NARS liner. This is actually a lip liner, but it's black, so I'm just gonna use it on my waterline. And basically, I'm just gonna apply this on my waterline. And basically, when I do a smoky eye, I always drag the liner underneath the lower lash line. I feel like that's the best way to get the most of a smoky look. Right underneath the black, I'm gonna go in with this medium brown and I'm just going to basically smudge out the edges. And this is actually, I know it's a dark brown, but it's gonna work as my transition as well. And now I'm gonna go in with the black just to set that. And I'm gonna make sure I blend out the edges. Now when I do get fallout like this, I take a brush and lightly dust that away because if you go in really um, intense, you will smear that. I'm gonna go back in with that same pencil brush and go on the edges just to make sure everything's nice and smooth and once you got that done all you pretty much got to do is coat the bottom lashes and you're pretty much done with the eyes now that I'm pretty much done with the eyes I'm gonna take my Too Faced chocolate Soleil and I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze the entire face with this I'm also applying this bronzer as blush as well because I will be skipping that I'm just giving myself overall just a really bronzy look without applying a blush y'all I look busted as heck right now I'm gonna make sure to get that forehead just so it could like shorten up a little bit. Boom. I feel like with a very smoked out eye like this, like you could look very pale depending how smoked out or dark the eye is. So I like to really go in there and bronze. Boom. I have a lot on right now. I'm gonna go over and buff it out, but you know, I gotta go ham. And then I'm also gonna go right on the nose, snatch that. So I know I have a lot of bronzer on right now. What I'm gonna do is take more of the tart powder and just kind of clean up right under here. And then I'm gonna go over the bronzer just in case I went a little bit too extra and just buff it out a little bit. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with a Trophy Wife. I actually don't really ever use this highlighter, but I feel like for some reason with this look, it just kind of goes. I'm just applying this like on the cheeks. I'm applying it just a little bit over like subtle, just to give a nice like glow when it hits. So I'm not just focusing it like a little thin line. I'm actually applying this all over the cheeks, but something very lightweight, nothing crazy. Boom. And then I'm gonna take a little bit on my nose. Nothing crazy, just something subtle. I think by just applying it like on the cheek like that, it kind of gives it a different look. Okay, so moving on to the lips, I'm doing kind of a dark lip, well, dark lip liner and nude lipstick. So I'm gonna go in with a Makeup Forever Limitless Brown Lip Liner. And I'm going to overline my lips a little bit. I think that's one of the reasons why two people said I look like Lola, because her lips are like, she doesn't have a cupid's bow like me. And for that look that I did, I overlined my lips a little bit. So it doesn't make them look a lot bigger. I'm not gonna overline a lot. I know a lot of people were saying that I had overlined. I feel like when you do dark lip liner, like it could look like you have bigger lips, you know? Cause it's like kind of like an ombre effect. I'm overlining just the smallest amount. Finally for the lipstick, I'm going in with a Tarte Beach Babe lipstick. It is just a nude, but you know, since I did lip line with a really dark lip liner, it's going to give it kind of like a different color. So obviously if you use this on its own, it's going to be completely, completely nude. I'm starting to look like Lola. Okay, I look snatched. Oh my god. This looks so much better than the first time. Alright guys, so it looks like I'm pretty much done with the makeup. I'm just gonna do my hair really quick, you know, change a little bit because right now I'm looking beat but busted at the same time, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright you guys, so that's pretty much it for this look. I look beat to the gods right now. I'm living for this look. I'm so happy I was able to get it down because I'm telling you, last night I was doing it and I knew I was like screwing up. I was like, what is going on? I was not happy with it. But finally, I am here beat and I feel like I got it very similar to how I did it the first time. I'm a I hope you guys like it as well. If you do, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Like I said, let me know if y'all want to see me transform into Lola. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming a tutorial for you. I don't really ever do tutorials and I'm trying to bring them back slowly because this is just what I love doing. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked the outcome. Before you leave, do not forget to follow me on my Instagram, which is Myra T. 
touch of glam. I've been trying to do more giveaways on there. I'm going to start doing giveaways more on my stories and stuff like that because there's always so much makeup I want to give away. So if y'all want to be, you know, entering giveaways and all that good stuff, then don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.